Good afternoon, dear investors, partners. Good afternoon to everyone who is watching the implementation of our project. Of the project of Vomash. Do you know motors? Do you know wheel? There are different names. But actually, now we have a more pronounced and more concrete notion. It is Design and Technological Bureau Sovelmash. Initially, the project was called so. But in the end, we came to creating a Design and Technological Bureau for the design of modern electrical machines based on combined windings. Now there is equipment working behind me. What is it doing? It is digging a trench to perform work on the connection of cold water supply. There is a pipe lying there, waiting for its turn. There lies the metal casing of that pipe, the pipe to be laid on the outside of the territory. And the cameraman will show us. Please note that this side of the territory is being improved, is being landscaped. If you remember, just half a month ago, or a month ago, what was going on here and what do we have here now? The final touches are being made before the work on laying the vegetation layer begins. What does the vegetation layer look like? Let's work in this direction. Here is the back part of our yard. Please note that the curbing is already poured with concrete. It's already done the way it should be. And please note that the lawn layout has already been done. Now the lawn will be rolled a little more and it will be possible to lake black earth with peat to finally form the vegetation layer and sow the grass. By the way, I would like to share my opinion. You know, there where I used to live, there was a tradition where I was going to live before. A very simple tradition was formed. In honor of every child who was born in our 16 apartment building, I planted a tree. If a person died, I planted a tree as well. They were fruit trees. And everybody knew in honor of whom that tree was planted. That was the tradition. Then why not revive it? Why not plant trees here, in one of certain people? The project participants, investors. Well, in honor of whom would I plant a tree? Of course, it is Maria Zhuzha. I think that everyone will agree. She is a very worthy, very active person. She is competent. She has nice life philosophy. So, let's think about that. I guess it would be worth it. Think in whose honor the trace should be planted. But please don't ask the Sobomash employees to do that. Okay, let's move on. Be careful. It's been a long time since we wandered around the territory. As we are doing now. You can go to the building, or you can stay outside. Alexander told you a lot of things, he showed a lot of things. Well, we can share the fact that the installation work on metal structures and pipelines 
in the heating station is almost complete. Now they are finishing the air units there, a few pieces are left. And it is possible to put sensors, automation and do insulation. At the same time the heating mains have been washed, pressurized and the pressure is even higher than it was supposed to be. Moreover, well, I said during the test, it should be 16. Do you insist on 24? Yes, I insist on 24. Are you sure? Yes. Well, 24 was opted for. The feedback on the work done is pretty good. So that honors whoever did the work. Basically, we are ready to receive the heat. As for the cold, now the guys will show you. Here is where the pipes are being laid. Here they go for coolant. There were two pipes on the heating main and there are already four pipes here. There is not much left to do here. The last joints are being welded. It will be possible to carry out ultrasonic quality control of joints and closing of joints with thermal insulation. And backfitting can be done. And that's it. And from this side up to the exit it will be possible to lay asphalt pavement. We are going to go a little bit further there and we'll talk about it. If you look here, we will put climate control units, we will arrange them. Here is the crushed stone warehouse. Everything has already been brought in. The pipeline warehouse is slowly being reduced. The pipelines are being moved inside the building. The installation is going on intensively. Laying the heating, water supply, cold supply, pipelines, cold water supply pipelines, as well as piping for climate control systems. Fan systems are being mounted, fire extinguishing systems, and so on. Let's go further. The main engineering networks are done. Now we are finishing them. And there is still the water connection. We have seen one point. Water will be cut in two points. Now we will finish with this one. And then it will be possible to carry out works on connection in the far point at the exit. You see the site is already prepared for asphalt. Here the vegetation layer is being formed. It will be a lawn. Here the guys have made steps. The reinforcement frame for pouring the ramp to enter the gateway is being formed. These are the finishing touches. Improvement works are going on now at an acceptable pace. Unlike before. There is practically nothing in the way now. It is already possible to do the final rolling, crushed stone filling and asphalt laying. I hope that in October the asphalt will already be laid here. I think it will be realistic. Now we are going to look through this door, which is a jar. This is the water meter for receiving water. Here we have wells. Here is where the pipes come in. And here is the water metering station and the booster pump station for the fire system and water supply. You see the piping is in full swing. In two days, 
the pipes will be assembled from this node to the water treatment station. And from the water treatment station to the individual heating unit. Work is also underway here. The well is being dug. And this side is already fully ready. You remember what a pit was here, what was going on here. Well, it wasn't good, really. And here is an interesting place. The cameraman will show it to you now. Here the soil was excavated. Then they started to roll and saw that the soil was kind of springy. We started excavating this place to replace it with sand and we found a prehistoric dump here. There were two cultural layers. One was probably inherited, well, from those who built before us without saying their names. And the other one was formed in our times, in our era. That is the legacy of the previous general contractors, I guess. But nevertheless, yesterday all this was eliminated. And you can see that sand is already being poured here. Today the backfilling will be completed. Everything will be tamped. The warehouse is next to it. You can see everything. And everything will be finished. We will be able to do the asphalt. Here are the pipes lying here. A whole warehouse. These pipes are storm sewer. These are water pipes. As soon as we finish with the abutment and connection of the storm sewer, we will backfill everything, dig a trench in this place, and cut in the water pipeline from this side. So out of the utilities we have one section left, a second section and then a third section right there. It's all going to be finished. Another little bit of work that is going on. The guys will show it from this angle now. Please note, there is no fence. It has been eliminated. The fence is a temporary enclosure of the construction site. There are now works on laying low current system. And then we will perform backfeeding. By the end of the week, everything will be eliminated and we will begin to install a permanent fence. Well, now it is the most interesting place. This is the operator's console, where the guys worked. And I want to show you. Here lies a pipe. And you can see that the pipe sinking is completed. I look in and see the end of the pipe on the other side. You can see the edge of the road. The pipe has gone through. This means that the hard and responsible work is done. And after that, we have an opportunity to accelerate in this area. Next, the pipe you saw up will be placed here and this space will be concreted. At first we were worried about damaging the insulation coating, but that's okay. Once it's all concreted in, it won't be a problem if the pipe corrodes. And now I will slowly get out of here. It is not easy to do it with one hand, so I will put the microphone down. Now grab it and come to you. You can see the conditions people had to work in. The work is very interesting. 
But it involves all sorts of surprises that await people in the ground. You have already seen how we dug up prehistoric layers. Here. Thank God we did not encounter any blocks. Let's go over there to make sure the job is done. We'll have to move. We've got a lot of digging going on here too. You can see that it is dug for utilities. Low current wiring. There is a well. There will be another well here, because this is the main entrance. And here you can see that only blocks are left from the fence. We are moving on. We've come here. And we can see the end of the pipe that came out. The pipe that we are going to be abutting lies over there. Guys, show us the depth, so we have an idea. Then we'll go through the metal casing, weld it, and then we will join it here. It should be understood that all the work is going on adjacent to the existing collector, so water flows through it. It's not very pleasant. Everyone is up to their ears in clay. You can see what they have been doing, how much clay they have scooped up. Look how much clay sediment was pumped out of here. And this is not very pleasant. The work is not for the faint-hearted, so to speak. Here is the rest of the pipe that was cut off because it was squeezed out here. This will be cleaned up and sent off for the next job. Now we can move to our side. Watch out for vehicles. There are none here. Let's go this way. Look at the sewer manholes. Here's the water. It's right next to this one. This is where we have the sewer. We have already connected to this manhole. Just today, before the shooting, we had negotiations on the provision of services. Contracts, extension of contracts, additions to contracts on temporary sewerage, water supply, electricity. Now, a very large amount of work is being done to amend the existing contracts, to conclude new contracts. It is a very large amount of work, plus the work of preparing a conclusion on the completion of construction. That's all for me. I'll now pass the microphone to Alexander Sudarev. He will show what is being done in the building, what changes have taken place. He has just arrived. He went to select paint to order samples. We test samples of paint and the right tint, how all of that lies on the wall. We may reject them, we order new samples until we get the shades we like.
Now I give the floor to Alexander. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, good. Good afternoon, everybody. We'll continue our tour inside the building. Let's go. But while we are moving inside the building, let's see what other works are not in the camera lens today. Now we are at the main entrance to the construction site. The first layer of asphalt was laid here earlier. Now we can see crushed stone and partially restored pavement. It's still to be paved. What happened? The section of the road was cut in order to continue laying low current engineering networks. That is, all the cables that will be responsible for lighting, telemetry, internet, barrier control, entrance groups, all will be powered by these communications. We see that the communications originate deep underground. They came from that part of the site. We also see that the curbing has been installed, most of it over the weekend. Now the foam work is being put in place and the subconcrete will be poured. Here we can see that the utilities have come out to this side. Here quite a large trench was dug. Of course, it cannot be compared to what we had before, but still. The base for the installation of the lamp post has already been installed. And soon it will all be buried with a layer of sand. And then we will put a fertile layer to form a green zone. Let's move on. The entrance to the administrative and utility building. We can see the form work already poured with concrete. This indicates that the entrance group is being prepared for finishing works. In the future, tiles will be laid here. And of course, it will be necessary to make a squared. And we are already watching the processes that precede the finishing of the entire complex. Well, and in parallel with this, from this angle, we see quite active land works, which will be completed by our workers in the near future. Well, now we have moved to the building of the administrative and utility part. And here we see that the work continues. We see walls which are prepared for painting. Some of the walls do not have such preparation, but not because it was not done in time. Here, specialized decorative wall panels will be mounted. Some of the walls will be for painting, others for panels. We can see assembled frames for glass enclosing structures. We can see that more clearly visible zone of the exhibition space is there. Here, colors have been selected for finishing. Another very interesting point, let's go inside into this room. This is one of the rooms for temporary accommodation of specialists. Well, something like a hotel room. Here on the wall you can already see colors. Well, what this room will look like in the future. But we have not yet approved this color. Now we are choosing something that will look more appropriate. You know, even colors, we are selecting them very seriously. The next thing I would like to point out. The room of the future chief engineer has already been painted in one layer. It is also getting partitions. Partitions have also appeared, they even have doors, in the control room. He will have specialized equipment, cameras, and everything that is necessary to manage the functioning of the security service. At the same time, we will see quite a lot of wires here. We can see that the ceiling has already been painted in one layer. It is to be painted with a second layer as well. Here there are more elements of the ventilation system. And let's now see the most striking elements of it. Here in the exhibition space, there are these large boxes 
dressed in a so-called fur coat in order to ensure proper thermal regulation. For this purpose, well, in this case, it is the seating. If you look from the first floor, it will be the floor. And up to the second floor of the administrative building, this whole process is going on. We'll have to seal all the technological holes and prepare them for finishing. It is mandatory to cover the previously laid tiles. In that room, the final laying is now being performed. There are literally a couple of tiles left. So the process is quite labor-intensive, but the guys are coping with it steadfastly. Let's also go into the room of the future cafeteria, which is being created especially for our employees. We see wall coloring that was rejected by us. We think that this color is not quite satisfying our understanding of how the cafeteria should look like. Well, you can leave a comment and write your opinion. We see the painted seating. We see the so-called fun guy of the ventilation system. One part is the supply, the other one is the exhaust. The process is going on quite actively, and I think that in the near future we'll be able to see the completed finishing of the ground floor of the administrative and utility building in accordance with the project. In some places, of course, it will be modified, but still, this area will be closed, access to it will be significantly limited, and only works related to electrical networks will be performed here. That is wiring, for lighting fixtures and the like. We see that the tiles have already been laid. This is the room intended for physiotherapy and dentistry for our employees. And here finishing works are also in full swing. And here we can see how ventilation networks are being worked on. This warehouse was presented in our videos quite a long time ago. But now we can see that it is being actively worked on. And the large ventilation communications are already being put in their places. And their installation is beginning. We can also see that the pipeline system is almost looped. We can see the new elbows, we can see the welds. All of this will be painted with appropriate paints. Well, in general, we can see that the degree of installation of utilities inside the building is growing rapidly. The pipes are getting more and more numerous. We can already see the branching that goes to the walls. The walls will be cut through. It will be through and all these communications will fill our building with the necessary compositions, structures for its future performance. Well, near the individual heating unit, we can see that the main welding work has already been completed. And we are now preparing to introduce the system into the general piping system. Above our heads, there are many more pipes. The line is practically looped. There is a section above us that will need to be completed, and the guys are very actively engaged in it now. We can also see that the automation cabinet that was located here in the opening has now moved from here. If we look into the individual heating unit, and we can see that it's already in its rightful place. There are special trays underneath it. Wires have been laid. And it will soon be connected to help all this hardware to function in the capacity that the engineers who designed it have given it. Well, if we look out of the window, we will see the raised floor level of the roadway. We can see that the manholes that were one and a half meters above the ground have already been completely covered with sand. The soil is being compacted and specialized rollers are driving.
heavy construction equipment has already been able to move through the space and the surface will soon be covered with geotextile. Backfilling with crushed stone and sand will be done respectively. To be more precise, it has already been covered with geotextile and backfilled with sand. Now the crushed stone remains and we will be able to watch the layers of asphalt grow here. This brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for your time, for your attention, for your participation in the project, for your support and of course for your trust. See you soon! Be sure to subscribe to our social networks and keep up to date with everything that happens in this project.